What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ask Assist P. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm here to try to help you on your cybersecurity journey. So uh, I know I've been gone for a couple of weeks. However, if you are a, uh, a follower of my other podcast, The Other Side of the Firewall, where my two co-hosts, Shannon Levon and I, uh, we break down the latest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who have made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. Now, you've been seeing a lot of me, right? Four episodes a week. Uh, we're on YouTube as well as uh, the podcast platform of your choice. So please like, share, subscribe, um, tell your uh, nerdy friends about us so they can listen to us as well. Uh, just get a different perspective when it comes to cybersecurity, right? Because uh, we only make up, people of color, I should say, only make up 7% of all IT, as well as only 3% of those in C-suite senior level positions. So uh, there's a few podcasts like us, but not many, right? So definitely tune in. So with all that out of the way, so I've been gone for a couple of weeks. I had to kind of recharge my batteries, back on my grind, uh, and I definitely want to answer your questions. Uh, with that being said, please tune into the other podcasts as well, uh, where this week we talked about um, uh, Dark Side, the, the hacker uh, gang that had affiliates who attacked the Colonial Pipeline, where their affiliates took them to uh, Hackers Court. So that's pretty interesting, right? Uh, as well as uh, hackers exploiting people coming back from uh, their COVID sabbatical, so to speak, and going back to the uh, back to the workplace. So lots of phishing attacks happening uh, in there, as well as we discussed an article by CNN Business, uh, which was titled Wanted, Millions of Cybersecurity Pros, Salary, Whatever You Want. And that was uh, written by Claire Duffy, right? Uh, and so we just talk about it and how uh, it's not that it's misleading. It's just uh, a lot of people are thinking that the... Uh, the job market is a lot different than what it is, right? So there's a lot of people competing for a lot of jobs, uh, but the advertisements don't always match up to what you believe they should be. So there's a lot of jobs that say, hey, entry level, no real experience necessary, except for the five years and tons of search that they're looking for. So we kind of discussed how the two of them don't match match up right now. However, uh, with the floodgates opening up, with uh, the current administration dumping, uh, not shouldn't say dumping, but targeting billions of dollars in the cybersecurity, right? Uh, things will change. There will be more jobs. And uh, over time, they will become more realistic points of entry. Right now, the bar is set very high. So there's a lot of people who are frustrated, uh, who have finished their degrees, but they have very little experience. And they're being asked uh, to be like full stack warriors, you need to be able to code and script and secure and network. They're asking for a lot, right? Uh, so we we believe that will change over time. Uh, it's just it's cybersecurity has been around for decades. However, it's really uh, starting to mature and grow into its own. And with that, there will be growing pains. So if you're out there, you're looking for employment, and uh, it's taking a little bit longer than you expected. Just know it, it is coming. Keep keep on your grind. Keep uh, staying at, in uh, cybersecurity and being practiced and uh, seeking those opportunities to uh, grow and evolve and to gain new experiences. Uh, you will get there. So um, with that being said, I had two questions, right? So let's get to the questions. Uh, these videos are kind of short because they're tailored towards LinkedIn. LinkedIn has a 10 minute cap. So I try not to... Uh, Bump to that cap because I don't like to edit these videos too much because I'll, I'll be be here sounding crazy. So uh, first question comes from David Cameron. Uh, so I've worked with Mr. Cameron in the past or worked for Mr. Cameron in the past. Right. It's been probably a decade, uh, but he's on his CISP journey. So I can't be can't be more proud than I am. Uh, he's very experienced, very knowledgeable. Uh, and now he's going uh, and studying for the CISP and we'll take it. So if I passed it, he'll definitely pass it. Uh, with that being said. He said that uh, he's he's seen a lot of jobs asking asking for specific technical skills such as Windows admin, Red Hat, etc. Um, basically, how would I approach uh, getting my foot in the door for an uh, ISSO or ISSM uh, job, both DoD or you know uh, private uh, sector? So I don't hold either one of those positions. Uh, a lot of people think I'm uh, I'm out. I'm not. I'm still active uh, for at least the next couple of years. Uh, before I transition into that civilian, uh, you know, uh, light at the end of the tunnel. So I love my job, I kid, but uh, I am definitely getting ready for that transition. So with that being said, I reached out to uh, my network and I have a couple, uh, couple like a lot of ISSOs and ISSMs. And they said, you're already on the right track. So 
just keep on your journey. Definitely uh, knock out that certification with your prior experience uh, and knowledge, as well as with this certification and your other certifications uh, that you you uh, most likely have, because you have to be 2875 qualified test network, et cetera. Um, you will be a okay, especially in the DOD sector where uh, they definitely need your skills and expertise. Uh, definitely, if you want to pursue something in uh, the field of being a little bit more technical, you could pursue uh, Windows admin and things of that nature. But uh, job advertisers are going to ask for the moon. Check as many boxes as you can, obviously, but uh, you need to be knowledgeable and experienced, right? So don't uh, pursue things just to pursue them. Pursue things because it's the, the path you want to go on. So I think you'll be fine. Uh, please hit me up in the comments or shoot me an email if I'm not on target of what you're looking for. But I think you're already there for what, like when I speak to them about how they got in, it was just a matter of applying, applying, applying. Uh, and then obviously showcasing that expertise and that, and that, um, that body of work when it came to the interview. So again, I think you should be fine. Uh, the next question comes from, and if I put your name, I apologize, uh, Josiah Marie Talley. So Ms. Talley asked uh, if I was still looking at, uh, or if I, if I was still helping everyone and giving advice on the transition from, to cybersecurity from help desk background. So uh, of course, uh, I'm definitely here to help. Um, and when I look at your profile, so I see that you are a probably a 25 Bravo. Uh, so for those who don't know that is, that's kind of like an IT specialist in the army because uh, they have Bravos, Charlies, uh, Novembers are network uh, guys and girls. Uh, Sierras are like SATCOM uh, people. Uh, so it looks as though you you are an IT specialist by trade. Uh, so that's that's good. You have a, a wealth of knowledge, uh, a broad base when it comes to that. You're pursuing your bachelor's in cybersecurity and networks. Uh, I would say, uh, with that being said, uh, you definitely want to grab a couple of cybersecurity um, uh, certifications to kind of show that that experience and that breadth of knowledge. You most likely have your security plus because you touch networks in the in the DoD. Um, you may also have a net plus. I would say uh, to cap off that BA in uh, cybersecurity and networks, I would definitely give my CCNA uh, or at least pursue it because uh, just just having the knowledge will definitely help you out uh, if you want to go that route. If you want to go networking in the security security of networks. Uh, but then uh, when it comes to the cybersecurity piece, uh, again, uh, try to be cross-utilized. Like uh, I know we're kind of pigeonholed sometimes uh, in our respective wheelhouses, but if you can try to uh, uh, get more onto the, uh, the DCO, OCO side of the house, the, the um, defensive cyber, offensive cyber, uh, and just see if you can just moonlight. This, can, I, can I, you know, come over there and, and learn some new skills? Uh, Perhaps use your uh, air or sorry, not air force, cool army cool funds to pursue your certified ethical hacker or CHFI, uh, if that's something you want to pursue, or maybe go the digital forensics route. Uh, but definitely, it's all about having hands-on experience. So whenever possible, uh, try to find a mentor or somebody who supports you that will allow you to work in a different department. Maybe just part time. Maybe just moonlighting. Maybe you just helping them patch uh, servers or things of that nature or uh, monitoring the network, uh, because again, you you have that networking in your, uh, your degree. Um, so definitely try to stretch a little bit uh, from the help desk and just try to moonlight uh, because you have that ability, uh, unlike uh, a lot of people out there in the private sector, uh, in the military, if you, you, know, uh, you show you have the, uh, the uh, capacity to learn as well as uh, you have leadership who supports you in that regard, then they'll, they'll let you put your hands on the equipment. So definitely try to utilize that as much as possible. Uh, I know these answers are kind of short. Uh, if you guys have any questions or follow-up questions I can answer, please hit me up in the comments. Uh, please keep your questions coming. Uh, that definitely motivates me to make these videos. Again, I'm still making four videos a week. Uh, so check me out on YouTube as well as the podcast services of your choice at the other side of the firewall is the uh, the name of the podcast. And you can reach me personally at Rai Rai Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy on Clubhouse, LinkedIn, Twitter, and IG. And I, I definitely want to help you out. Uh, so hit me up. With that, stay safe, stay secure.